Hello Android gamers, great news! Today I'm going to show you how to play Diablo 2 on Android with the app DOSBox Turbo, the best and fastest DOS emulator out there for Android. Come check out my full how-to guide here in the XDA Developers Forum. It has all the information about playing at DOS games and PC games on Android. Of course, we have system requirements, check them out right here. Now today I want to note that we are going to run Diablo 2 so I'd recommend having at least a 1.8 gigahertz device with 2 gigabytes of memory for this particular game as it's very intensive to run. Check out the hardware conversion chart here. Basically a high-end device will only get you like a Pentium with about 90 to 100 megahertz of juice. Of course more information here on the DOS box pages. You can check out full performance information here and check out the benchmarking of course. You can benchmark your device and see where it fits in with our chart. Of course, more information about setting up DOSBox Turbo with all your favorite games. Check it out here in the video's description. Now to get us started, you will need to follow step number one here and get yourself the great app DOSBox Turbo. Just click here for the link. You can check it out. It costs a couple dollars, but it's well worth the cost to pay to play. It's a great application brought to us by developer Gene aka Fishsticks. Check it out here, it's well reviewed, supports Win9x and 3DFX Glide support, and it's frequently updated, a great application to have. Now I'll show you the first step on my Note 2. Once you open the application for the first time, you'll need to find the settings menu. You can find this in either the upper right hand corner, or by swiping from the left side of the screen to reveal the hidden menu and go down to settings menu. Click it to select it, and it'll bring up an additional menu. You need to select DOSBox Settings, Advanced DOSBox Config, and scroll to the very bottom of this list. You'll need to put a check mark beside 3D Effects Glide Support and Manual Mode. If you don't do this, you won't be able to replace the DOSBox Config file, and it will be defaulted when you run the app. You also won't have the benefit of 3D Effects Glide Support. You'll need to exit the app and restart it before these changes will take effect. Now we're ready to download our Win9x package for DOSBox Turbo. Look in either the video's description or the forum thread below and you'll find the full complete guide. Be sure to read this guide through, it has all the information on performance tweaking and setting up your games and device. There will be two packages to choose from. The first one is the recommended package. The difference is this package lacks CD ISO support. Inside of the emulated Win9x environment, we won't normally be able to run ISO images like we can from DOSBox using DOS games. So in order to get around this, we'll have to use daemon tools emulated in the Win9x environment. This however can ruin the image's stability over time, so I recommend getting package 1.0 unless you have games that you need to use ISO support for, such as Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. I recommend trying to use workarounds such as game fixes from Gameburn World. Once you've downloaded your package, place it on your desktop, extract the files, they'll be zipped. You can just extract it to your desktop or any convenient location. You'll have this folder here, which has your HDD images, your C image, and your DOS box config. Here's the complete guide that we've been looking at here. Refer to the next step of your guide. For step 3, you'll need to install a free 30-day trial of the WinImage program onto your PC computer. Be sure to use it before the 30-day trial passes. This program will allow you to open up the HDD images and place your game files within them and save them. Simply follow the link here or in the forum thread. Download the software here from the Softopedia website. Click this link You'll need to choose a mirror, and the download will begin. Install the package onto your computer. It's very straightforward. Once this is complete, we'll be ready to open up our HDD images. Go back to your Win9x DOSBox Turbo package. Open up your HDD folder. Now we want to extract a 2GB HDD 
to house our game data. The default is 2 gigabytes. You can change this by referring to the guide and following the instructions here. You can also change the location where the game data will be stored. By default, it will be in your internal memory of your device. You can change it to your SD card by following these instructions. Now that our HDD is extracted, we're going to open it up and the WinImage program will allow us to navigate it and store data. Now we will need to place our game data into this empty space here. This is how we will access it from Android. Today we'll be playing Diablo 2, so you'll need to have it fully installed on your computer. Now it appears version 1.05b is the one that works on Android. I found this out from a very interesting post in the Where's Forum. This is a Russian forum by this individual here. A great post by him. Now he has a Windows 95 image that's entirely in Russian. You can get that here if you prefer to have the language entirely in Russian, or you can just use my images for English. Now he's kind of cheating here, and I can't provide you with any game data, but there's a link here so you can download the fully installed game Diablo 2 here, so you'll have to come get that yourself. I can't really help you out with any of that, but you can install the game and try it yourself. You'll need it fully installed on your computer, but great post by this guy here. Now either download the game, set it up on your computer yourself. Here I have that downloaded copy and I'm ready to transfer my game data over. Now a very very important note right here uh, is that his file is named differently than mine. So you'll need to change right here this underscore in the middle to a minus symbol. If you don't do that it won't launch because the name of my images is just slightly different. Just one minor difference but an important note. Now we're ready to transfer over our data to our Android device. So let's plug it in open it up and explore it. Now we're going to put it into my device's internal memory. So open it up and we just want to put it into the root directory here which is the blank space here. We open it up and plug it in with the USB cable. So we need to place our hard drive image with all our game data into this blank space here. Copy and paste it or drag and drop it. And we'll need to open up our package and copy and paste the C image and our DOSBox Turbo config here. You can drag and drop these all over to your device and it'll take a little while to transfer it all over. But once it all completes, we'll be ready to play these games on Android. Now that all three files have finished transferring over to my Android device, the C image, the DOSBox config file, and the HDD image, I'm ready to launch the game on Android. Let's go have some fun. Here we are on my Note 2, ready to run DOSBox Turbo from Android. Let's start it up. Here we are on our emulated desktop. Now we need to locate the Diablo 2 data. If we go to shortcut to D drive here, it should take us right there. And we simply need to locate our game EXE and launch the game. There we are, and just start it up takes a moment to load. Be patient. Here's Diablo 2 on Android with DOSBox Turbo. I'm going to start a single player game. Here we are in the actual gameplay on my Note 2. I'm using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, but you can also just touch the screen. Just easier to show you the actual gameplay if my fingers aren't all over this little screen. As you can see, performance is still a little laggy. This is my Note 2. It's 1.6 GHz with 2 GB of memory, and I'd consider this too slow to play this game. You're going to want a newer device, upwards of a Tegra 4 device, or something newer and better. Always great stuff coming out on the horizon. Now to maximize performance, I recommend you disable the sound completely. You can do it from the options menu in DOSBox Turbo. Just uncheck the sound option. But there's a few things in game we can do to improve performance as well. For instance, you can go to your options menu. 
go to the sound settings, and you can disable the music. You'll still have uh, the sound effects and the NPC conversations, uh, but the music, the multiple sounds playing at once really slows down the game. So once I disable the sound, the frame rate improves a little bit. Completely disable the sound for a nice performance boost. You'll definitely want to do that on a slower device. In addition, make sure you have the video settings turned down. Put the lighting quality to low and turn off blended shadows. This sort of maximizes the performance. It's a very intensive game to run. Let's show you a little bit of a mission. The little underground caves run better, so we'll go to one of those. Now you can also bring up a keyboard menu. Uh, there's two ways to do this. You can bring a swipe down menu from the top. There it is. Bring it up quickly like that. So you can get things like tab and stuff. I'd use the hacker's keyboard actually because that's a little more useful when playing games. You can get that from the Play Store. There's also a menu from the left you can swipe to get more options. And you can bring up a keyboard like that. You can also bring up some virtual buttons. I have information in my guide how to set these up, and you can set these to any button, any keyboard bind that you want. Really helps with the gameplay as well. And to hide this menu, you'll just need to swipe up on the screen again. Now there's lots of different ways to play. Of course you can touch the screen. Let me just turn off the map. But you can also use the S Pen. My Note 2 comes with an S Pen and just touch the screen. Any type of a Bluetooth device will work. I'm using a mouse and keyboard. You can use a controller. Uh, OTG controllers will work, like PlayStation and Xbox. Let's go visit the hole. Don't forget to like the video if you want to see me continue to find the latest games to play on DOSBox Turbo. I know people have been asking for Diablo 2 for some time. And just a note again, it appears to be version 1.05b that works. Now, in addition, we can increase performance by swiping to the side menu, and we can attempt to change the cycles. By default, it'll be on auto, but by increasing this number here, we can basically clock it up. Let's try 50,000 cycles. Now, this will impact uh, the sound, but it improves performance. Just want to show you the difference. one over there with multiple arrows.
Where's my little archer girl? Back me up. So as you can see, increasing these cycles will improve the performance, but impacts the sound quality. Uh, let's just try putting the sound back on and see how that affects it now that we're in an actual gaming situation. Put the music back on here. You'll want to turn down the cycles when you put the music on though because it'll affect the sound quality. So we'll put it back to auto there. For all you audio files, you just got to have the music in your gameplay. As you can see, it really hits the performance when the music starts getting there. And when uh, you start getting into combat with the music playing and all kinds of noises are going, it really affects it more and more. But as devices get faster, you should see some improvement. There's lots of games you can play with DOSBox, Turbo, and Andro. For instance, Fallout 2 and the Fallout 2 Restoration Project. Don't forget to check out my guide. Oh, here's a battle. As you can see, it just gets pretty much unacceptable when you have the music going too. So if you turn it off, you get reasonable performance. Anyways, that's enough for now. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with DOSBox, Turbo, and Android, and like the video. Thanks for watching, everybody.